What's up guys, it's Katie with 3D Printing and Technology. So for this video, I'm going to be explaining what the 7x7 mask bed drive rank is. So on April 1st, 2019, pre released firmware update 3.7.0 for all the printers. And it included as the main feature 7x7 mask bed drive rank. This is an update from the 3x3 mesh bed drive ring. So what it does is the... So the mesh bed drive ring is the way that the printer calibrates the z-axis in bed to give the prints... to be able to print the objects more accurate and to rub the bed for any uneven spots. So, the 3x3 bed drive ring used 9 points, and now the 7x7 uses 49 points to get more accurate measurement. So, after you download the firmware, it'll be 3x3 still by default, but you can go into settings and change it to 7x7 if you want. The 7x7 does take more time to calibrate it, but want your prints to be more accurate or your bed to be rubber more accurate that's the way to go obviously you can steer your 3x3 mesh bed rubbering and your prints be, will turn out just fine and your prints will still be fine there won't be no support changes but that's pretty much the main update main feature in this update there's some other bug fixes and stuff they adjust but they made the 7x7 the main feature also i'm still putting on an iphone i haven't got a new studio camera or the old camera fixed yet which is why the quality is not as good as it used to be but hopefully it's fixed soon but that's pretty much it for this topic. And just way you get more accurate frustrator and a more consistent rubber bed. If, if you have a printer printer, you can make an adjustment in your settings and try it out. If you don't like it, you can always go back to 3x3 rubbering. But it seems like everybody's curious about this topic, what the 7x7 mesh bed rubbering does. So I thought I'd explain it in a video. But there's also a post on it said there's a 9 by 9 bed driver coming soon. So we'll have to see about that. But yeah, that's going to wrap up this video for this week. Also, if you like this video, if you want to see the first, make sure to click subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.